guys, Mark from The Digital Age here. Super excited to share with you how we play the song Break Every Chain. Now the original version of the song only had three chords. It was 6-4-1 the entire song. So we kind of messed it up a little, threw in a 5 and a 2. I don't know what we're talking about, but we played in the key of C sharp with capo 1. For the chorus chords, we go 6-4-1. It looks something like this. There is power in the name of Jesus. So actually, the, when we sing Break Every Chain at the end of the chorus, it goes four, five, one. That's just to kind of put a sentence or a period at the end of the sentence and kind of loop it around so we can go to the next section of the song. The verse chords are six, four, one, five. So that's A minor, F, C, and G. So how I play those shapes is I do two fingers on the A minor uh, and I leave the G, the G, uh, Da, 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 da. Open. So I'm just drumming, and then to switch from that to the F, I set down these two fingers. So it's more kind of just suspends it a little. I don't play the bass note on usually, and then just you know your normal C. So I'm kind of ignoring the high and low E's for most of the song. And then one thing we change on the bridge is instead of it going six four one on the bridge, we change it to a two, so it kind of has a little more of a bridge sound. So when it says there's an army rising up, we do there's a two four. There's a two, four, one, two, four, one. The final chorus, we sing there's power in the name of Jesus, but over a little different chords. We sing it, there is four in the five of one every time. And uh, it just helps it kind of end on a really triumphant major note. Thanks guys. If you have any more questions, tweet me at Mark the Shark or tweet the digital age at the underscore digital underscore age.